If our memory or data storage of our brain was like a computer hard disk, then how much storage you think we would have throughout our entire lifetime? Well, scientists had done the calculations and came up with a prediction that an average human brain can take up to 2.5 petabytes of data till its healthy condition. But to be honest, we barely managed to reach our brain's 50% capacity. And also this 50% is achieved by super hard learners, scientists and scholars. Normal students like me or probably you just keep forgetting things which we have read in our studies. But is there anything that can increase our memory function to the fullest limit? There are actually several methods which can increase your memory function significantly higher. You can watch videos on that as several videos are already available on YouTube on that topic. But on this particular video, I want to talk about something different. Because whatever you do, you will never be able to recall every detail of your life. Like what you had dinner for every yesterday or what happened on today's date in the year 2014. Yeah, I know that the second one was ridiculous. No one remembers that much of detail in their life. Well, actually we are wrong. There are only a less than 70 peoples on earth who can remember every single detail in their life, like a computer. This superpower happens in people due to a very rare condition known as hyperthymesia. Now before we proceed to know hyperthymesia in detail, let us first understand how our brain makes memories. The process of making memories is divided into two parts. First is called short term memories and second is long term memories, just like a computer has a RAM and a ROM. Whenever we do any task or learn something, our brain's prefrontal cortex gets involved. It processes data on the line and in the process, if brain finds something important or you force your brain to memorize the task, then it involves our hippocampus to shift the data from short term memory to long term memory. Hippocampus is a part of our limbic system which is responsible for making new memories and handling some emotions. And to be honest, our brain doesn't contain any special lobe to store data like your computer. Brain is a biological machine containing billions of neurons. And whenever you want to form new memories, your hippocampus takes the responsibility and create a new connection of neurons which will store data. Although this data storing process occurs by involving most of the human brain and neural networks, still different parts of our brain gets involved to store the whole memory in parts like sound, smell, visuals all get stored in different parts. After memorizing is done, it takes only a simple insight to recall that memory. Like how many times you were able to recall something or someone just by smell or sound. For recalling a strong memory, even a simple insight can activate all the neurons which were created a bond to form that memory. But the matter of fact is, we forget things very easily. Not everything however, like you still cannot forget your ex completely. Well, brain is a very complex thing. Like previously we have discussed about the condition hyperthymesia, the super memory. So what causes this phenomena to happen in the first place? Well, as it is a very rare condition, scientists were not able to do much experiments on it. And as a result, the real reason behind this phenomena is still unknown. However, there are some theories and researches that suggest it could be due to biological, genetical or psychological causes. In biological cause, one study suggests that it could happen due to hyperactivity in certain parts of the brain such as amygdala and another one suggests that it could happen due to increased activity within different regions of brain such as the superior and inferior parietal lobe. Some scientists predicted that hyperthymesia is a genetic mutation. However, research is still underway to find the genetic basis. But most interesting cause about this condition is psychological. It is said that people with this condition tend to think about their past obsessively, which may have strengthened their mind to recall everything with great precision. Although it doesn't make much realistic sense to me. Now before you think that having this awesome power is a pure blessing, let me tell you that great power comes with not only great responsibility but also with a great pain. As they were not given with the ability to forget literally anything, it is impossible for them to forget or escape from the traumas which bothers them so much. Just like someone said, the ignorance is bliss. The ability to forget is also a bliss for you, both biologically and psychologically. Biologically, if your brain gets full with all the trash memories of your life which you want to forget, then your brain will hang just like your old computer. 
I mean literally, you will have intense headaches and insomnia like the patients of hyperthymesia. Also psychologically, it is necessary for you to forget or let go of your haunted memories and traumas in order to live a happy life. So even if your memory is not good or average like me, then you are blessed with a healthy life. Your brain works every day and night to memorize and protect your important memories as well as deleting those trash files which you don't need or you don't use. So this is it for today's video. If you like this one then make sure to subscribe this channel along with dropping your thumbs up. You can also follow our Facebook page for regular scientific updates. We'll see you in our next video. Till then, goodbye, thanks for watching.